Well, hello everybody. It's uh, February the 20th, it's Saturday, and the sun is shining. It's a little bit breezy, and the breeze has a little chill in the air. But uh, we've come out for the walk, and the temperature is supposed to be around about 10 degrees, 11 degrees, depending on where you are in this part of the country. Uh, well, <laughs> That's according to the forecast. Yes, but yeah. I think the wind is a little bit different. So last time I came down here, uh, you've probably seen that little bit of video. Uh, this was all covered in snow and it was really, really cold. And I got as far as this area here um, and then I turned back. So we thought we'd walk this way and have a look, see. Uh, where these paths go. There's a sort of walkway goes off to the left but the official path goes straight on through these trees. Sort of two two arrows there. We have had a little bit of rain but this ground as I said before drains really quickly so There are sheep grazing out here. There are some longhorned breed. They put out onto the to the moor here. You won't see them in this part because there's very little for them to graze on under these trees. It's really nice to be out. We've not really been out very much at all. A little brief walk around the site has uh, been our breath of fresh air, but can't really say it's exercise. Although it's quite a big site and it's quite a nice walk around. It's just been too cold and, wet and really too wet, hasn't it? This last week especially. Yeah very wet and before that the snow of course so we've got another couple of parcels arrived apparently which we'll pick up on the way back we had another parcel yesterday which is uh, the wheel covers so we've not opened that parcel yet because we want to actually move grace We've been here nearly two months now and um, so we feel it's time to rotate the tyres, have a little drive. We're just going to back her out sometime this week and um, just drive up the site and back just to make sure everything's moving. Everything should be fine. But uh, two months is quite a long time for a vehicle to be sat still. We have started the engine, of course, a few times. And there's folks walking the other way. So we'll stop for a moment. Yeah, so we just stood aside while those folks went past because this path is quite narrow. And uh, don't want to get too close to people even now. We are four weeks today since we had our inoculation. Um, so there's a 90, I think it's a 90% chance that we wouldn't catch anything. <laughs> but of course that leaves 10% that we might. So, and uh, also, well, we wouldn't pass it on to anybody else because we really can't have it because we haven't been in contact with anybody to get it ourselves. Now, this is interesting. We've got to the right EXP and to the left BEG, EXP and BEG. Oh, experience B 
beginner. Oh, right, so that's an experienced trail. Yeah. And that's a beginner trail. Very interesting. Are we experienced or are we beginners? <laughs> <laughs> Let's go to the experienced. <laughs> I'm sure it can't be too difficult. I guess it's actually a longer walk. That's probably what it is. Mm. Because it's sort of a circular walk from the tea rooms out. There are several, several walks uh, of different lengths. So, I haven't been cooped up. I feel quite keen to have a decent walk. But um, I've been getting some pain in my sort of Maximus Glutimus. That's sitting around all the time. That's sort of down the side as well of my leg. So, didn't know how quite how well I would be going walking. Ah, here's another break in the trail. Oh, this is going to be great, Carol. All these different paths to explore. Yeah. This one goes off to the right. Should we go that way? Because we can then maybe go at Sandling's Walk. This is yeah. the one that goes through to the road yeah. and then down to Dunwich. Yeah. So we can probably walk down here to the road and then back along the road yeah. to the campsite. So that's quite nice. Yeah. So lots of little paths and walks across these, uh, these moors. It's, it is a National Trust area. So it has all these nicely marked paths. Sorry, Carol? Heathland rather than Heathland, more. sorry. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Corrected again. Uh, I don't know why she doesn't do the commentary, really, because <laughs> she's the expert. <laughs> yeah, so we walked along over there. She was just doing a little circuit or a circle, really. Uh, today, stretch the legs, get back into walking again. And uh, get a bit of weight off. We uh, weighed ourselves. We, we didn't have a set of scales for, oh, well, how long ago did those scales break? It was back then, yeah, early, last early year. last year, wasn't it? Yeah. So we had another set of scales um, to check our weight. So um, over that period of time, probably about a year, um, we both put on probably probably a stone actually. Yeah. Because uh, I went from sort of fourteen and a something. 1410, 1411 was it? Yeah. Um, up to 15.7. So not quite a stone. So not too bad, because a lot of that time we were pretty active. Uh, we were walking back in Gloucestershire. Oh, I'm still purposely. And we were swimming and things in France and walking in France. So, uh, we were keeping pretty active, but I think over the winter months, these last winter months here in lockdown, that's when the weight was gone on. And uh, so we've got a new set of scales, well they're second hand, we bought them second hand. Um, but they're pretty accurate scales, so digital ones, so we've got those now and we're keeping an eye on the weight and we've cut out the chocolate that we were eating every day, pretty much. Uh, we've cut, up, cut out also coleslaw, because uh, that's a nice but uh, not necessary condiment uh, with our meals. And uh, yeah, we both lost, we both lost sort of half a pound to a pound in the last yeah. two or three weeks. Um, but that's being pretty sedentary over that period of time. So hopefully with a little bit more exercise and a little bit more outdoorsy 
stuff we will be getting some of that weight off yeah um i was saying we were saying about moving the moving grace giving her a little bit of exercise just to stretch her tires and uh, give them a roll around so they're not sat on there um but we've also got and you'll have seen this in a previous couple of pictures and things we've got some rubber that's come loose under the slide out so i'm going to get under there and either refix what i can or cut away what's loose before we bring the slide out in because it could get caught in the in the mechanism <coughs> that would be a bit of a disaster uh, so we've got that little job to do before we can move so probably won't move uh, Grace until next week sometime um, end of next week sometime probably at the weekend when it's quiet on site anyway um, but we'll show you those little jobs and what how we manage but we're gonna have to get a new rubber seal for that area underneath the slide out um, what the rubber does it just keeps the draft out um, when the slide out is out and seals it up when it's in so that's uh, that's the piece of rubber there we're gonna have to get a new piece along there uh, not the easiest thing in the world probably to obtain we'll probably have to go through uh, RV maintenance mobile maintenance I should imagine to get it get the right stuff the right size and so on okay so we come to a crossroads here we are quite a road really bridle path bridle way so I think if we head back this way Carol we'll be going back towards towards the road and what we've got over here the Dunwich Heath path and the sort of that's the roads pathways that uh, we can walk around so quite a nice walk round quite a lot of space okay you're welcome to roam freely and enjoy the site which is important for nature conservation especially ground nesting birds for this reason please keep dogs on a fixed short lead from the 1st of March to the 31st of August oh, okay. and at all times near livestock. Yeah. There is also complete closure to the north of the heath from the 1st of March to the 31st of October. So, I'm not sure which bit is the north of the... Ah, uh, there's, there's a little hatched area up there. Oh, okay. um, yeah. Up that top there, so the picture there. Uh, that's what's closed so and we're right on the edge of that but we can walk along the outside of it you just not to walk across uh, i think it's probably that way that area there yeah. um it's actually closed so don't go wandering off across there but you can walk along the path still yeah, yeah. and we don't tend to go walking across the open ground anyway okay so uh that's about it for today. As I say, we've got some parcels. Might uh, do another video of us opening those and show you what we've got in there. Uh, it's all very exciting stuff. <laughs> but at least we're out and exploring a little bit around the area now. As I say, we've been here uh, almost two months. So, and this is the first time, well, not the first time, but the first time we're starting to think we can get out and explore a little bit more uh, we'll be getting the bikes out uh, for a little bit of an explore further afield uh, we've got the camera hopefully we can fit that onto uh, our heads or onto the bike uh, to show you us cycling along uh, so that'll be a little bit more interesting uh, a little bit of cycling going on so lots more adventures to come 
We're waiting on Monday for Boris to give the outline of the getting out of lockdown. Things seem to be going quite well numbers-wise. Uh, but of course we've still got to have our second jab, so we need to be here for that. But we're kind of hoping that by uh, April time, we will be able to move off and away uh, back across the country and do a little bit more traveling. We shall see what Mr. Boris Johnson is proposing. And uh, yes, we hope that by the time the summer comes, maybe the international routes will be open for us to drive over to France, but uh, that's a long way away yet. That's, that'll be July we we're want, wanting to do that. And if we can't, then uh, uh, booking over there will have to be cancelled. If it is cancelled, we're hoping that uh, they cancel it and we get a refund on our deposit rather than us cancelling and losing it. But either way, we can only do what we can do and what we're allowed to do. So that's us for today. Do join us on YouTube if you're watching this through um, clicking on our Facebook page. Then uh, underneath the video, there'll be a subscribe button. Just click on the subscribe button and uh, you should be able to see all our other videos. So if you're, and if you're new to us, go back and have a look, see where we started out. Um, I do have plans to do some retrospective little videos. I recorded some of our lead up to leaving and uh, probably sometime in the near future, I will uh, narrate and put those up as well because that was how we were thinking and planning back then. Uh, so that might be interesting for people to see. All right, God bless, take care, and we'll speak to you again soon.